Welcome back. It's time for coins. Hello, everybody. And today I want to show you my coins in my coin tubes. And I definitely need some more coin tubes because I have some a lot more loose coins around. I need to are in bags right now that I need to put in them. But here are the coin tubes I have and coin tubes I'm working on. So let's go ahead and get into the first one. I'm going to show you my dollars. Now these are, there's 25 of these dollar coins and these are the Eisenhower dollars. And a lot of these I got through the till and also looking at coin star machines because they got thrown down into the junk bin of a coin star machine. And I have pretty, pretty much all of them through the date run, uh, except for the 73. That one only came out in silver. So there are a couple of them that were in silver uh, sets and stuff. So that's kind of cool, but I don't have any of uh, these are actually silver. These all iron clad. And they went from 1971 through 1978. And the next one I will show you, the Susan B. Anthony dollars. Now these dollars came out after the ironclad um, Eisenhower dollars. And these ones are, have Susan B. Anthony right there, and an eagle with the moon on the back, which is similar to what is on right there, on the big dollar. And the Susan B. Anthony's were minted in 1979, 1980 in circulation. And then in 1981, they were in the sets. They didn't go into circulation on that one. And then they were re-released in 1999. And after that, they went to the Sacagawea dollar in 2000. So very, very cool. And I like to collect those ones. Sacagawea ones are okay. I like to collect a couple, but I mainly like to focus on the, the Susan B. Anthony's because they are a little more kind of a, not, they aren't really rare, but they're a little more rare, I would say. So the next ones I will show you. Now these ones are a little more Precious, I would say, to, to me because these were actually given to me from my dad and stepmom. They got them from, looks like, the Little Tin Coin Company, which uh, I would say don't uh, don't buy them there because they don't sell overpriced coins. But they got a six set of coins, uh, uncirculated 60 uh, from 2015 to 2017 P and D Native American dollars. So when I got this, this, this was the entire set. Uh, I haven't really taken them out of this before. That's why I'm wearing gloves. And we have the Native American dollars. It's like a steel worker in, uh, in New York City right there. And then the next one we have is the one here, World War I and World War II. Coin. And then you have two of them, the, the Andy of those. And then the next coin I have is the Sacag uh, Sequoia Indian dollar. It's a very, very cool design. Very beautiful co uh, dollar coins. And the back has Sacagawea on them. So yeah, so I don't take these ones out very often just because of the, they're being mint state 66. 
I don't know if there will be any, any, any valuable or not, but it's nice to keep them in a pristine condition. So the next one I will show, these two right here are the same. And these are the uh, half dollars. And they are not just any half dollars, but they are the bicentennial half dollars. And I like to collect these ones. I have a bunch of them just because I like that design. I like the bicentennial, so I do the quarters and the half dollars, a bunch of them. And then the, the other ones I just throw back I like to search through them, see if I can find any silver ones. I also did a date run, so I had a, had the, the album filled. I think there might be a couple more I might need. I'm not sure, I have to go check on that. But yeah, very, very cool. They were minted in uh, 75, 75 and 76, but they all contain a this uh, mint mark, or this mint date on them. This one here is the Bicentennial Dollar coin that came out and it has the Liberty Bell and the moon right there and this is the original right there so very cool um, the next one I would say I'm going to show you will be the uh, the quarters now these are the bicentennial quarters I've been collecting every time I find them uh, I'll just uh, grab them and I'll stick them in this tube I don't know I just like them it's a kind of a unique design they didn't really change the quarters up that much back then like they do now so yeah so we have a, a soldier with a with a drum on there you have the 13 stars going around the flame flame of liberty on them yeah so it's kind of nice to uh, to collect these ones the same thing 1776 to 7, 1976 on them we have a lot of them are in uh, circulated condition, but it's kind of nice at, at all. And then I have a few over here that are a little bit more uh, more uh, beat up and a little darker. That looks like it might have been put in the ground, possibly. Pretty cool. I should, I should put that in my Audi uh, pot. So the next one we're going to look at is the the dimes. I collect all the 2004s and 2005s that came out. I just kind of started doing these guys back when they uh, first came out. And they are the Westward Journey Nickels. And they have four different designs on them. All commemorating Lewis and Clark coming out to Oregon. And then in uh, 2006 they came out with the the front facing design and I wish they would do this with all our coins yeah, it would be cool to have uh, Lincoln facing forward and uh, Washington facing forward that would be really really cool but they haven't done that yet and I also have a 1911 nickel right there the nickel and a Buffalo nickel from 1936. This is one of my newest two right here in quarters. And I really enjoyed the 2021 new quarters that they came out with. They came went back to the old design with Washington facing left on there. And it has Washington crossing the Delaware. So I really like these ones. So I've been, every time I find them, I, I pull them out and I stick them into this uh, this tube. I, I originally wanted to get a entire like uh, coin roll of them, but every time I had a chance to, I either forgot or I couldn't at that time. Now these are the next ones. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep these or not. I had a bunch more that I could have thrown into you. But these are the, oh, well, there's some more of those ones. I'm definitely gonna keep those ones. 
uh, the women's courts right here. Those, I thought about maybe like keeping them, seeing, just because they're in nice condition. But I'll see if I actually keep them or not. Next coins I will show are the Mercury Dimes. Now this tube is new, and these are what the leftover coins I had from my album fill that I've been working on. And I think there's about $2.30 in these uh, uh, Mercury Dimes. A bunch of really cool looking, uh, looking pieces here. And I'm kind of thinking about after I get my album filled, going and take going through these things and trying to fill another album, seeing how much, how far on one album I can go with all these. Okay, we're getting down to the last, last two. Now these are the pennies, and these ones are the 2009 pennies, and they came out with four different designs commemorating. Uh, the 200th birthday of Abraham Lincoln. Those ones aren't, those are just uh, really nice pennies. Yeah, right there. And so these things are pretty, these guys can be pretty, pretty rare. Uh, not super rare since they're newer, but they're they're a low mintage year and so you don't see them as often and so every time I find one I pick it up and I I uh, put it in here even if they're kind of a little dirty and not very good condition log cabin so yeah it's just another uh, way to have fun with coins is find things that a little bit special and interesting. Every every fifty years, they uh, they change the design for the the penny. They went to the Indian. They did the Indian head, and then in two in nineteen oh nine, they did the uh, wheat pennies in nineteen fifty. Nine, they went to the Lincoln Memorial set right there. And then in 2009, they did these. And the next year, they started making the shield pennies. And then my final tube has a bunch of the wheat pennies right there. And these are all the extras I have that I found in uh, in my change over the last few years. Yeah, and it's kind of a really cool design. You don't see them too too often, but you can always you could usually find a one or two sometimes in a, in a coin roll. Well, with that, just want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you thought found this interesting, and uh, I hope to see you in the next videos. Have a good night. Bye.